Yes, welcome to another show of Hen House Studios Live. And today we have one of our favorite artists from the Hen House, Aya Peard. How are you doing, Aya? I'm very well. <laughs> and playing with Aya today, we're very honored to have the internationally acclaimed flamenco guitar player, Alberto Antonio Del De Almar. I'm Correct. sorry. Correct. <laughs> it's a long one. It's a long one. But anyway. And the Hen House has been around for a while now, and I'd have to say, if we had to, you know, uh, call somebody the princess or possibly the queen of, of Hen House Studios, it would have to be you, Aya. She ends up being on. <laughs> <laughs> she ends up being That's on right. more recordings that we do than anyone I think to date. She's on a couple of our albums, and we're really excited about that. Um, oh, thank you. Aya. Oh, you're welcome. That's cool. um, Aya actually is more than. Uh, just a musician. I shouldn't say just a musician. She's actually an accomplished yo yogi, yoga instructor, and she works with, with children. And she um, also worked with an organization called Yoga Inside. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Yoga Inside? Yoga, Yoga on the Inside Foundation, um, brings yoga to incarcerated and institutionalized youth in at-risk environments and um, various places, all around the nation, actually. Uh -huh. And I was teaching at a place called Dorothy Kirby Center, which is where there were incarcerated juveniles who were, had committed multiple violent crimes and were diagnosed with mental disorders. And so they were kind of, they were in solitary confinement for a year or so uh, or more. And uh, they were getting all their treatments and yoga. Wow. And yeah, and it was really it was a, the best thing I did it for three years. So do um, you do you think the yoga actually helps these these? Uh, it's mainly young girls, right? That, that that's you work with? yeah, that I was working with mm -hmm. definitely. There are it's there are boys there too. They're all separate. I think it really did. They're there in solitary confinement wow. for a year. So I, although they're juveniles, so they're allowed to have a lot of community time. They're required by law to have that. They have a lot of time on their own. It's really a lot like a yoga retreat. In a way, it's like a mm. retreat to examine their own motivations, their feelings, um, and to try to come to some peace with. So it's it's healing through yoga, basically, and, it's and music is very exactly. healing too. So I, I, you know, in a way, I, I think a lot of the work that you do do is is heal is healing work. Thank uh, you. I, I think so too. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful, and uh, Alberto. Uh, I've you know I've seen you playing around Los Angeles for <laughs> probably 15 years, if no, not longer. It's been 1985, the last time I came here, wow. and I've been here ever since. I was in Spain for three years before, mm -hmm. and San Francisco for two, and then I came here back back here in '85. And where are you originally from? Miami. Ah, I with see. Spanish blood from Spain. Mm. And you and you've worked with some of the greatest uh, acoustic flamenco guitar players in the world, like you worked with Paco. In, de in Spain, with Paco de Lucia, I did copyrights, guitar transcriptions, and copyrights. And uh, worked uh, with the music of Chick Corea and Paco to for work out some guitar parts uh, on Touchstone and Yellow Nimbus. That was a Chick Corea thing back in 1980. And then I ended up touring and recording three albums with Manolo Sanlúcar wow. in Spain and toured all over Spain for three years. So that's one wow. of the beautiful things about your musicianship. You can play solo, mm -hmm. and also you can play in an ensemble, which, you know, yeah. there's a lot of musicians. Electric or acoustic. Yeah, yeah, a lot of musicians don't have that luxury. So, you know, I, I see you working all the time and, and, and well-deserved. So with that, why don't we cut into a tune? These guys are okay. going to play us I Appeared, everybody. Here we go. <laughs>
Carlos Solo. I, uh, <laughs> I appeared in Alberto Antonio del Mar. So I, uh, um, I know you don't like to talk about this, but I know that you were you you oh have some God. pageantry oh experience God. Oh, in Harlan, your life. Oh no, no. Oh, you were like a teenager yeah. or something, right? Were you that's, miss that's a, Miss terrible. California, <laughs> Miss LA? <laughs> Oh my God, uh, Miss Teenage California. That's great. And Miss Teen of America. And you probably sang. Uh, yeah, I did. Well, actually, I danced. You danced. I danced for the Teenage California one, and then the Teen of America one. I didn't. The talent competition was actually a separate one for that. Ah. Which is, you know, many years ago. So you were performing. <laughs> you were performing at an early age, though. Maybe that was, you know. Yeah. And then, and then you formed a, a band in, in uh, high school. Was that was Fremel formed in high school or in, in no. college? No, uh, it was in high school, but it wasn't. Fremel was actually in college, but the bass player from Fremel and uh -huh. I had a band in high school. So that's probably why you thought. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Fremel is really uh, a great, great band that I, I really enjoyed, and we had the opportunity right. to work with them, sort of in a, in a reunion type setting, because you hadn't played together for a couple of years and. Right. Not only is everybody super nice and, and, and very intelligent, I think, in that band, but also <laughs> great musicians, really. It was a sp I it felt was like it, we were part of something important. Maybe you want to talk a little bit about that experience, Fremel. What, 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 was, that, what was that like? Where did that name come from? Yeah, Fremel. it's a really, it's an interesting name, actually. Fremel comes from uh, the word Fremen, which is the, the grimace that mammals make when they smell the pheromones of the ah. opposite sex. It's kind of a little something. Anyway, <laughs> it was a little kind of an inside joke, and it ended up being the, the name of the band. But um, it was a, just an interesting group of musicians that came together. It started off with myself and guitar player Phil Kettner, who's mm. played with, um, among other people, Suicidal Tendencies and uh, Laws of Rocket, which is his big heavy metal thing. And he'd played with, he'd been doing all kinds of electric guitar, basically, and heavy metal with um, Joe Satriani, mm -hmm. his teacher. And yeah. But when we hooked up, he started playing acoustic lead, but he was doing all the alternate, you know, tuning modalities mm. and that kind of a thing. Yeah, Phil, he's a great player. He's a great player. He's and a master stereo guitar player. For those of you who don't know, he, he likes to pan his, his signal when he plays to his amp left and right. Sometimes he might even have two amps, and he's actually mastered that technique. It's great. Yeah, he's really a stereo guitar guy, for sure. Yeah, he's a stereo guitar he's guy. He's really <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so we met, and then um, the bass player, that I had been playing with in high school had gone on and you know recently opened for Ted Nugent in Vegas or something wow. like that. Yeah, Michael. But um, so he joined. He wanted to. He had a six-string fret list. It was a kind of an interesting combination of like sort of big elements, mm -hmm. um, but toned down into kind of an acoustic style of format. It was very eclectic and it, it kind of interesting experimentally. And uh, and then the drummer f saw us and wanted to join. We were playing yeah. as a trio. And he's great. Yeah, very unique style. Yeah. Great drummer. Really fun and just, yeah, really nice people. And it really felt like a family type of thing. And it was mm -hmm. unfortunate when it kind of had to separate. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's nice to, it was excellent to come together yeah. and have no, that experience. No gig in the lasts forever, house. right? Exactly. No gig lasts Every, everything forever. changes. But before yeah. we cut into the clip, uh, I'm really fascinated with this whole idea of yoga and breathing and how that could complement a singer. Because Singing is, you know, it comes from within. You know, you take your acts with you, just like you do yoga. Yeah. Basically, all you need is the floor. And when you sing, all you need is yourself as well, or the floor to stand on to sing. So yeah. maybe, because I am not a vocalist, maybe you could sort of let the people know how the yoga and the singing somehow complement one another. Well, they're both based on the same thing, which is prana, the yoga term for your life force, which is your breath. Mm -hmm. And all of your... In singing, I had an amazing teacher actually recently who said, you know, when you are singing, you're not breathing, your body's breathing you. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just let yourself be open and the, you're, for, you're open to inspiration and your breath is that inspiration. It's that gift, you know, uh, your gift of your life. And life, your yeah, breath so. is life. Well, you guys ready in there with the clip? You guys all set? Okay, so we're going to run. I appeared clip playing with, I believe, Fremel at the hen house. So tell me about this session a little bit. This session? Yeah. This is a reunion session of the best humans in the world. <laughs> Old friends of mine. Michael and I went to high school together. We started off as a trio. Philip and, or a duo, Philip and myself, and then Michael started playing with us, and then Polly joined, and we did, we played about 10 gigs and spent a year making a CD, and 
Philip had the exodus from Los Angeles. <laughs> well, I was heavily into rock climbing, and I had to go to Yosemite, and I stayed there. <laughs> and, uh, and we haven't played together in three years, is that right? Yeah, I don't know. It's just really cool to be back here and playing with everybody again, you know, so just to, because there, I think the songs that we all wrote together, I mean, they not only were they experimentally um, kind of interesting uh, musically, but uh, also really have really high emotional content as far as what we're all going through and stuff in life, and I'm just happy to be here. You guys are cool. You guys are cool.
Thank you, everyone at the hen house. It's awesome. <laughs> God, I just hate interviewing. You hate interviewing, huh? I hate it. <laughs> You're doing a good job today. You're doing a good job today. That was Aya Peer, Peer playing with her band Fremel, which, you know, the band is uh, no longer playing together, but I know I'm not the only one on the planet who's disappointed. You guys really had a lot of uh, fans out there, and I thought it was a really great band. Hopefully, you guys will do some more reunion stuff Hopefully, yeah. soon. Yeah, I, I really, uh, really enjoyed it. So, what are the, some of the things that you're doing now? Now that you've got Fremel's not playing, what are the, some of the, the music projects that you're working on? I'm currently working with um, a couple different things, really. But the main thing I'm doing is, is recording with uh, Greg Camp from Smash Mouth yeah. and Kelly Castro, um, mm -hmm. who's written the songs we're playing today. Oh, great. And uh, so um, and we're just doing that. It's a side project that I'm lead singing for, and they're writing songs. And mm -hmm. it's um, going to be kind of a retro pop sound. It's a lot different than Fremel, actually, mm -hmm. which was much more experimental in a way. And these are kind of more going back to some classic roots in some ways. Is that what I was heard today earlier in the studio? That was some of the stuff? Exactly. Yeah, that sounded great. Yeah. That, that'll be exciting. I know you've been yeah. working on it for quite a long time. For a while, yeah. Which They're is great. Bad. I mean, I think yeah. it's, you know, it takes time to make a great record. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. Alberto, um, mm -hmm. I mean, you've played with so many different people from, uh, I mean, I, it's, the list is, is endless. You've, you've played with... Um, you were talking about, I'm uh, forgetting her name right, Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys on uh, Woman's Worth, you know, it was in the, so cool. the song that was in the Grammys. Yeah, I mean, and that's They had uh, Joaquin Cortez dancing in the, in the Grammys. Yeah, that's it was fantastic. a flamenco thing, yeah. That's awesome. And you played with Julio. Julio Iglesias and Enrique Iglesias. Amazing. Wow. And, um, I mean, you played, with, obviously, with so many people. Now I'm with Keiko Matsui. Oh, yeah, and you're touring the world. Yeah. That's yeah. great. We go, we go next week. Do you like being on the road? Yeah, I actually do. That's good. Yeah, when I come back, I forget everybody I know here. <laughs> All the little people? <laughs> I forget <laughs> everybody. I look at my Facebook, I look at my phone, so I'm like, who are these people? Okay. Oh, it makes Los Angeles enjoyable if you can get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. That's when what you come I've, back, I've, uh, you like it again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's at probably every place is like that. You know, you work with, you've worked with so many people, maybe you could talk about one of your, your more favorite experiences. Well, I would say it's both Keiko Matsui group that I'm touring with now. We've been to Japan, we've been to Singapore, uh, Africa, and uh, all over the U.S. and Alaska. And we, the people, sometimes we, we play so, just concerts, just with us, but sometimes we play in festivals. Mm -hmm. And the festivals like are pretty cool. Open air festivals in Europe. Yeah. yeah, it's great just to get yeah. rid of this, get, get away from the smoke. Yeah, too. and then you meet all the, all these <laughs> other bands, like, you know, the, you know, famous bands that are playing too in the same mm -hmm. festivals and that's a lot of fun meeting them. Do you speak yeah. other languages? I Spanish. Yeah, I hear yeah. A, a tinge of... Yeah. My parents are Spanish so I speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. And you have, you have your, one of your relatives is, is a well-known guitar player too. Oh, right? my cousin, Jorge Strunz. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Strunz and Ferrat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're a great band. You yeah, ever work amazing. with... Yeah. Those <laughs> no, guys. I've always wanted to but uh, we, for some reason we just never got together to actually do anything together. Mm. You know, it's still possible. <laughs> so I... Uh, what are, you, what are your goals now? I mean, you have so many things that you're talented at. You're a talented dancer, you're a talented yoga teacher, you work with children as well, you know, helping children, and you're yeah. a great musician. Uh, what, what do you think the future, what would you like your future to be like? What, uh, what do you want to do? It's a uh, tough question. It's huh? a tough question, yeah. Uh, I would like to feel peaceful and have a great time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I really enjoy what I'm doing with the kids, and we're, we're part of the Yoga Ed program, which is, you know, bringing a lot of yoga to South Central and other at-risk neighborhoods. It's really expanding, so that's that's a great thing that's close to my heart. Mm -hmm. And with music, just finishing this project, playing more, and um, you know, playing with more people, and mm -hmm. that's, that's great. Like coming yeah, back to the hen house. We did a session. <laughs> we did a session yesterday with Chris uh, Crash Carson, who's yeah. been on this show, and it was great. Well, we have just about five minutes left, so I'm thinking maybe you guys could play another tune. And which one you want to do? The, the one you were just working yeah, on, the okay. first line. Well, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Can I stand up? You can stand up. I learned this in the pageants. Yeah. <laughs> stand up. Oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Sorry. All right, here we go. <laughs>
More than beautiful, absolutely Thank you. gorgeous. So I think we're you know we're almost out of time. I'd like to just to just jump into another tune if we could sure. right away. Right. That would be great. Okay. Right. It's what people want. I want to hear you sing. <laughs> i